It's your boy Kent Peter here for another video. I was actually gonna upload a different video today, but my editor he wasn't done with it. So it's another video I'm working on. I decided to give Fiber for, for editing a chance. So there's a video that's gonna have subtitles, and it's gonna be me flashing off a house pretty much in that video but this video I don't know if y'all how often y'all read my community but in the community I asked this question if you want to allow at 18 do you think you could have saved the money and stayed rich or do you think you would have spent that money <laughs> I had one vote and they said that they would have spent that money but now we're going to ask me, if I won the law at 18, would I have been able to save the money and still been rich today, or would I have spent all that money? So it's, it's a pretty tough question. I want to see I would have stayed rich. But we got to go back to what kind of person was I when I was 18. So when I was 18, I was still in high school. So yes, all of you, I was in high school. I was on the verge to graduate, but I was in high school. Now, well, that high school kid suddenly won the lottery. That's where things get interesting. I think I bought my first lottery ticket like the first day I turned 18. <laughs> so we're gonna say in this fictional, we call it like the moat type, not moat, a parallel or let's say in a parallel or where I actually won the lottery at 18, how would it have went? So all y'all still know my parents when I was 18. So if I won that lottery, obviously, I would have probably bought my own plates. <laughs> I think I would have bought my own plates when I was 18. I actually got my driver license after I turned 18. So when I first turned 18, I, I didn't have a driver license. But later on, I did get driver license when I was 18. But anyway, I likely would have got my own plates. I'm not sure how much money I would have spent. I mean, I wasn't really a bit spender when I was 18. Because I knew that you lose money, you pretty much go back to where you started. So I, I would have tried to hang on to that money when I was 18. I would not have dropped out of high school. I would have finished high school. I still would have did it. Would I have went to college? I think I would have went to college. Now, once I started struggling, started getting those else, the, ch the chance of me dropping out would have been higher. Because <laughs> obviously I was going to college so I get a job that paid me a lot of money. But if I already had a lot of money, it's like, you know what? I don't have to stretch over this. I'm out of here. <laughs> That's probably what I would have did if I was failing college. But I think I would have given college a chance, even if I was a millionaire. Probably, I may have thrown parties. I don't, I don't think I would have did it every single week, nah. I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been every single week, but I would have threw some parties every, every once in a while. Probably would have got married younger. Probably would have had kids younger. I honestly think I would have if I was rich back then. So how rich would I have been? We're going to use this for example, $75 million. We're going to say I won that. Obviously, it wouldn't have been completely that much. My mom would have probably tried to help me manage her money 
I can see her doing that. Try to help me manage it. And I would have tried. I would have tried to manage it myself. Now I would not have invested in the stock market back then. Obviously, it's better if I win the lottery now than if I win it when I'm 18. Because I would have never invested in the stock market at 18. I would have kept it in a saving account, and I would have just made money from the interest. Because that was my plan. I, the more money you have in the bank, the more you get paid in interest. And my bank pays me every month in interest. But of course, today I know that the interest is like so low, it's not even worth it. How much money would I have spent on a house? I mean, I honestly don't know. I don't think I was really thinking about getting a house when I was 18. <laughs> so it's hard to say what I would have did, where I would have really lived when I was 18. Back then, I would have probably been happy just living in an apartment when I was 18. To be honest. So it's questionable where I would have lived. Would I have bought a mansion? I don't know. But obviously, I would, would have made sure I had enough money, the party and all that, buying it, a car. I don't know if I would have bought a really expensive car, because I, I would have just been happy driving the car, because like I said, I didn't get my life still off like 18. I kind of had some anxiety when I was trying to learn how to drive. I think my dad didn't help either, because he was yelling at me a lot when I was driving, so it kind of raised my anxiety up when, whenever he would try to teach me how to drive. So that's probably one of the reasons it took me a while to get my license. So would an 18 year old Kent Peterson spent a lot of money on the car? I don't know. I mean, even if I did spend 30 grand on the car, I mean, 30 grand compared to like 70 million, 75 million, Still not that much. It's like really low. <laughs> Obviously, thirty thousand dollars is a lot of people's salary. But at seventy-five million, it probably would have been like spending five dollars. I don't know if it really is, but I just put that out there. In other words, I wouldn't have felt it coming out of my account. So I would have been managing my money. Once I saw that my money was just going down, I would have stepped back some. So I would have did it. Obviously my house would have been paid off if I did win that long. Now, when it's time for you to file taxes, I mean, you could make or it could break me. If I still have millions after the taxes, then I really don't got anything to worry about because you only have to pay taxes once on the income that came in. So I, and luckily I turned 18 at the, like around November, which means it's at the end of the year. So I likely would not have spent too much money at that point anyway. So when February, March come around, I get that tax refund whatever not refund but whatever type of form I would get I would it would come in the mail I probably would not have spent too much money at that point because it would have been a short amount of time <laughs> so that would have been one advantage of having a bir having a late birthday in a year now if, if I have a birthday like my friend like in February And I won the law at that point. I mean, between February and then the next year, and during tax season, 
That could be pretty rough. But we're gonna say I won this lottery on my birthday back in November. So between November and what? February, March. So three or four months. I like you when I spent too much money. I don't think. Then they would tell me how much I would have to pay on taxes. I would be like, okay. And honestly, if I paid money on taxes and there were still millions left, then that's good. So the short answer is yes, I believe I could have hanged on to those millions. And I possibly could have still been rich today. Especially if I stayed single, but here's the thing. If I would have got married, and we know how that goes. If the marriage don't work out, could have been paying child support. <laughs> I don't know how that would have played out. Hopefully, I, I, my, when I do get married, my marriage lasted. Because I have no plans on ever getting divorced. That's one of my goals. But I do want to get married. And I'm sticking to one kid. <laughs> Even when I was 18, I said I would only have one kid. So if I did have a kid back then, it would have stuck with that one kid. <laughs> so I think I could handle. I think I honestly think I could have handled winning the lottery, winning the 75 million when I was 18. It would have been a good birthday too, a good birthday present if I did win that lottery on my birthday. But do you think you could have you could have did good winning the lottery? Because a lot of people they go broke when they win that lotto. I mean, for a while I didn't really understand it, but then when I went back some, I took a step back and started thinking, okay, it kind of makes sense. Especially if you if you grew up poor, you couldn't do anything. But now when you're rich, you suddenly have money. You're gonna want to do things that you couldn't do before and I likely would have traveled too especially when high school when I, when I graduated from high school I think me and my friend would have probably traveled our late teens early 20s I could see us actually traveling but of course I would have managed our money right And I think I could have still hung on to those to some millions, even if it would have been a lower amount. I could have still hung on to some millions a day. And all of y'all had millions a day, I would have put some of that into the crypto world and gained more millions likely. But if you think you could have handled winning the lottery at 18 and not going broke, Please comments down here. You like this video? Smash that like button. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. That way, my video gets recommended to more people. And also, subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, have a good weekend. Bye for now.